Okay, this is my first actual toy review, and I already did one, it was three. From now on, all of the toy reviews are going to be five to seven minutes. I'm not sure what this is going to be, it's really unplanned and whatnot. But anyways, okay, here's the first story I'm going to be reviewing. If you read the description or the title even, you already know what it is, or if you wanted to see if it was something similar to what you thought it was, and here it is. Okay, here it is. Okay, it's Venom. Yeah. There's not really much I can say about this, it's just basically Venom. Like you sand them up like this. Okay, you can't really stand them up good. But I'm sure any collector would be able to make them stand up and as you can see it's a pretty cool posable toy. Uh, from right here the main joints are, he are on his shoulder. You can do that. You can't really move it that way. Uh, and the arms go like that. The arm and the the hands you can move like that. So any poser you can get something good like that. The head. I, I've always liked Venom's head just because like the tongue sticking right out. It's like asking to be snapped off. Honestly, like I've snapped off so many of these by accident. Anyways, the head moves really nice, really like, it's like a gliding motion, but as soon as you get to here, that's when you feel a tiny bit of resistance, just from the shoulder. I don't know, the shoulder joint, I don't know. Okay, the, and both arms are basically the same, with the exception that one's a right hand, one's not, that's about it. The legs, you can't really move the thigh area much, you can rotate this, but you can't really like move it anywhere else. Uh, same thing applies with this. Well, you can move it like that. That's about it. If you really push hard, you can do it, but, you know, most people would probably break it by doing so. Um, okay, the, obviously with most action figures, you can do this, like that. But, I mean, honestly, what action figure can you not do that, other than that crappy Naruto thing? And unlike the Naruto thing, you can't rotate the feet, which is a bit more realistic, but it should be able to rotate somewhat. Also, something that's really interesting is the fact that this moves. That you can actually rotate the chest, to, like block certain stuff, like, uh, oh, I'm gonna get attacked, uh, uh. or some, something like that, I don't know. Honestly though, I say I say that like if you have well I found this on Amazon for twenty bucks, you know, seven bucks for shipping. But um but you know, this is Canadian, so well I'm Canadian, Amazon's not Amazon is American. So I don't know how much it would be for me, but for you guys it's twenty bucks and seven dollars for shipping. And basically all it is is this guy. Uh, for any collectors, like, the bot the packaging for this is really good. I'm probably going to put a few images of the packaging for the credits. But, you know, there's not really not much to say. It's just a guy that stands up. Like, I don't know why, but I really like this guy. I've always liked Venom. Like, like that. But, um, yeah, like, I, I can't really do re a good review on this guy, considering there's not much to talk about, if you guys want to see... Behind as the classic Venom sign. Um, yeah, but like I said, the packaging is really good. It also comes with a uh, something you can attach to the wall that he climbs up on. I can't really show it to you now because this is a bit of an old action figure, older whatever. So I can't really show that. But on Amazon, the Spider-Man figure costs more than this. I don't know why. I like Venom more, considering the guy who played Eric on that '70s show played Venom on the movie, and that automatically makes this guy awesome. So, like, I don't know, if, if you, honestly, if you have, like, 20 bucks, go out and buy this. If you don't, then I say maybe, like, get a little lemonade stand outside your house and, like, put up a sign saying, need lemonade for toys, I don't know. Depends on how, how on, like, old you are or whatever. If you're, like, 30, I think that might be the age when you should stop, but, you know, 20s, you know, people might. But, um, but honestly though, like the only downsides to this guy is that you can't really fight with him, as you can see, like yeah, to, like right here it gets kind of like sea stuff. 
I really wish there was an action figure where there was like a ball here, like kind of like a little little like swerving kind of thing, and you just do this and the arm swings, so you could go like this and the arms go all crazy. I don't know, a Dragon Ball Z figure like that, that would be pretty cool. Uh, if anyone wants to see him like that, here, up there. Uh, how tall he tall it is? It's about that. Uh, I'm guessing... I don't know, I'll get a video game to compare them to. Okay, um, as you can see, compare and comparing them, just move the cameras. Oh, of course. Go, hold on. Okay. As you can see, it's about, I don't know, it's like three-fourths, I'm, I'm guessing. Um... But, um, but like I've said many times while reviewing this guy, if you have 20 bucks, go out and buy them. If you don't, try to get 20 bucks. Like, they're selling the Spider-Mans more than this. Like I said, I don't know why. Um, it's a limited edition figure, which means that they're not going to be making more of these. So, And it's a really good workmanship. I mean, it's shiny, and it's really fine detailed. I mean, if you give this to your kid to play with, he's, he's probably going to break it after a while just because you can't really move them that well but other than that this is like a really good action figure I'm not gonna lie it's like I don't know you uh, those Power Ranger figures those are a bit more flexible but you you kinda get the right idea I know I, I'm probably gonna give this a 4 out of 10 4 out of 5 I recommend this if you're a collector I'd probably give this a 5 just because this is a really good toy to collect especially for the other Spider-Man figure and get all the Spider-Man 3 collectibles. Uh, if you aren't collecting it, then this is still a good gift, but like, I really wouldn't recommend it unless you're not going to play with it much. If you, if you are, it's still good. I mean, I, if you are, I'm going to give it a 4, but yeah, you know, there's better ones.